ghost lifestyle. Okay, where's the EU site? Are we on? Are we on? We're good, we're good. Spicy pineapple margarita. Straight in there. That's going straight in my basket. 12 seconds later. <laughs> So here we go. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everybody. It's the 11th of May, you idiot. We, yeah, I know, but it's it's like, you know, it's only just come. It's been bank holiday here in the UK and stuff. But you should have got the video up quicker. You're a shit oh. YouTuber. Yeah, I know. I'm doing my best. Burn in hell. Get it? Keep burn. It's the same day. I'm getting the video live on the same day, okay? Ignore him. Today, we have two tubs of your finest Cinco de Mayo dedicated Ghost burn. Now, anybody that is new here, or has been here for a while, I should say, knows that I love ghost burn. I used the mango flavor, or did use the mango flavor until it ran out about a week or so ago. I used it every single day. Well, every single day I was going on the bike anyway, not necessarily every single day. A couple weeks back, they brought out the ghost Welch's grape flavor and the pineapple in the black. I actually missed out on that because I had them in my car and they were just gone by like four minutes past six or whatever it was and something dumb like that. Which on the one hand is, is great, like congratulations to Ghost, but on the other hand, I was annoyed I didn't get some. So I was not missing out on this one. We were there, ready, the alarms were set for the spicy pineapple margarita flavor. So um, from what I've heard, this just kind of has the same burn, ghost burn taste aftertaste kind of thing as you know the mango flavor or whatever other flavor but that kind of burn feeling you get from one of the ingredients that just kind of applies for this product and so it's allowed them to call it a spicy pineapple margarita whereas i think it's just like a you know a pineapple margarita to pass the smell test anyway you can get the the, the waft of the burn though if you know what i'm saying I never actually look at the ingredients or the dosages or anything, I just kind of mix it. They officially say 150 to 200 milliliters of water um, for one scoop. And so, well, yeah, that's around about what I use on the daily anyway, to be fair. Maybe a little bit more. So I maybe use about 250 mil and a scoop and a half. There are separate dosages on here, whether you want one scoop or two scoops and five calories per scoop. And if that's breaking your frigging macros, then well, quite frankly, you're an idiot. I just level off a scoop like so, pour that scoop in, and do around about a half scoop on top, like so. One thing I will do is add a couple of ice cubes. I always like to do that every single time I use the mango product, so I will apply the same philosophy for the spicy pineapple margarita. Just had to make sure that that lid was on real good, because if you saw my last Ghost Greens video, it did not end well. It smells good. Lime flavour. It's good. It's all right, isn't it? Mm -hmm. When you think about like what's actually in it, you'd think it would taste like crap. I hope it's not ruined. Now, do you really like the t-shirt? An update on that t-shirt. It is doing just fine. It had to be comprehensively washed but it has come out and it is I would say as good as it is was ever gonna get it's not brand new it's like it's been washed a lot <laughs> but it has no stains and that's the most important thing so I figured it would be pretty cool for you guys to actually be able to see the color I will probably pour it back into here because I do like drinking them from the shakers but as expected it is a nice pineapple-y glowy, juicy kind of colour. Smells like pineapple too. We might just have a new favourite, people. I mean, it doesn't matter what flavour they brought out, until they brought this out, I was mango. I was mango, mango, mango. Gone through a couple of tubs of that. Doesn't matter what else was on offer, I was willing to try the Ghost Black purely because I love the ingredient that makes you sweat. I am disappointed that this doesn't have that, that's why I wanted the Ghost Burn Black so badly. Hopefully there's going to be an EU slash UK, whatever it is, restock on that because I'm, I'm freaking desperate to try it. But this just tastes like straight up pineapple juice. I don't know why I'm at all surprised 
but that tastes freaking awesome. So I'm gonna chug this, and then I'm gonna jump on the bike, do some fasted cardio, because if you're not doing fasted cardio, people, you are not getting shredded right. You are not getting shredded, full stop. If you're doing cardio and you're not fasted, you don't know what you're doing and you're not fitness. We fitness up in here. <laughs> Shut up, Liam. Cold world. Southside, can't get enough, can't get enough. East side, west side, worldwide. Ride out. Now I ain't got no kids yet, but this right here's for practice. I hate to get the seats in the bins wet, but that's how good your ass is. Make an old man get his glasses, make Wesley pay his taxes, then follow your moves all week on Twitter. Probably make a gay nigga reconsider. So that is 38 minutes down, 316 cows down. Super shredded already, buzzing about that. So, I for whatever reason, and this is the shirt by the way, it, tur it turned out fine, right? I mean, you know, it, it only took an hour and a half of constant checking on it every 20 minutes to get it back to normal and a wash with some serious washing stuff. All over my new tea. And it turned out fine, it turned out fine. It's like it never happened. So anyway, with Ghost Burn, last time when they released the black, I missed out on that. But also this time, I missed out on a free shaker. I mean, it's fine because I already have like 19 shakers under my bed. But for some reason, this time around, I was just that focused on not missing out on the Ghost Burn Spicy Pineapple Margarita that I forgot that there would be a bundle. Of course there would be a bundle. Ghosts always do a bundle. I just added two to my cart, and so I missed out on a free shaker, but it's all good. I, I was probably running out of space under my bed anyway, but it's just annoying that, you know, it's free, you want it. That is one thing when you are ordering from these guys, always watch out for the bundles. Um, it's not always right there on the screen, but just take the extra minute, um, although it may or may not sell out in that minute, so beware. Um, take the extra minute to kind of search for it because you might get some free stuff or whatever. Obviously they have like the, the packets, the um, packets with the codes on there inside, loyalty points and all that kind of stuff. Don't forget about those kinds of things as well. So, ghost burn, fat burners just as a general rule, are they a magic pill? I mean, no. I mean, some would regard them as magic pills. Me personally, no, not at all, because you still have to be in a caloric deficit. You could be in a thousand calorie surplus and take this, doesn't mean you're gonna lose weight, right? You have to apply this into your supplementation and your training, et cetera, et cetera, whilst you are in a calorie deficit. It's not a magic friggin' diet thing. It's not like, I'll take this and I'll get shredded. No, you have to do the other things like training, like your cardio, like your calorie deficit, all that kind of jazz to go along with it to actually lose weight. Having said that, I do know I keep picking up and putting this back down. I'm just gonna hold it. I know people that take this on a daily basis as like a coffee replacement. It has stuff in there for focus. I'm not gonna go through all the individual ingredients. I'm not that guy. You can find another channel to go through the in-depth supplementation and dietary advice. I'm not that guy. I can just tell you how it tastes and whether I like the products or not. But what I do know is that there is stuff in here that's gonna help you with focus, help you with digestion, all that kind of stuff. I'm just not gonna list them all out. One thing that is missing from this that is in the Ghost Burn Black is the, I think it's called GBB. It's basically something that makes you sweat a lot more. I like personally sweating when I'm when I'm doing cardio. I like putting my hood up, you guys might have seen earlier. I like putting some joggers on. It's very rarely that I wear joggers, but it's cold in this garage, right? If you're new here, this is my home gym. This is where I train on a daily basis. Whether public gyms are open or not, this is where I train, right? But it's a garage and it's cold. I live in the UK. It's cold. We have little heaters like this over in the corner, but you know, they can only do so much. It, it can get warm in here, especially in the summertime, but right now, it's kind of chilly, you know? So it can actually be kind of difficult to work up a sweat because it is so cold, unless you are really, really, really pushing yourself, which you tend not to be when you're doing low intensity cardio, right? Which is generally speaking what I do. When I do cardio, I like to go on the spin bike around the corner there, whip my phone out, respond to emails, respond to comments, respond to DMs, just be productive, kind of kill two birds with one stone, right? I'm not generally about the whole hit life. I do it every now and then to mix it up, spice it up, and it is kind of kind of cool, kind of interesting, but I like being able to track how many calories I'm doing. And although it's not Apple Watch tracking, you know, where I have exact heart rate and exact calories burned, it is a consistent form of tracking, and I even recommend if you're in a public gym to try and use the same treadmill, to try and use the same spin bike, because you could get teeny tiny slight differences in the way that that machine is set up, and it could give you a slightly different outcome. Only slightly Slightly, but if you have the opportunity to, then try to keep everything the same. It's just an easy way to consistently track.
track your progress, right? So it would be kind of cool if GBB was in this product, um, but I do understand why it's not. It's not for everybody. In fact, a lot of the things I've seen online, people don't like it, Ryan doesn't like it. But me personally, I like it. I, I like to sweat when I train. However, if you take this in the morning instead of a morning coffee, you ain't gonna be wanting to take Ghost Burn Black before you go to a nine to five office job, you know? You're gonna to want to take it before your cardio session or before your gym session. But overall guys, the next question on your lips I hear you asking is, so Liam, what would you rate it out of 10? I would rate it a solid product out of 10. I love the taste, I love the effects, I just love the product. I use it all the time. I was pretty much just trying out a different flavor in, in this video and it didn't disappoint. So with that said everybody, I hope you are all well, I hope you're all safe and I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, do me a massive favor, drop it a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you are new. Welcome aboard. We've got some interesting shit coming this week and next week. If you've been subscribed to the channel for a while, you will know my love of body power. Um, it was supposed to be, well, it was actually body power last year, a year ago today, as of the day I'm filming this. It's meant to be body power this weekend, so we've obviously got the diet update and everything like that, hence goes burn and dieting phase, blah, blah, blah. But I've got some interesting stuff that's kind of body power related over the next couple of weeks. So stick around if you are new here. Thank you so much for watching today, guys. Let me know if you picked anything up from the Amino launch they just did, if you picked anything up from the Ghost Burn launch. What did you do? Did you pick up anything? Did you pick up nothing? Did you pick it all up? Did you empty your freaking bank account? Let me know in the comment section down below. And finally, one more little update before we do go. If you have entered a competition, I'm running a couple of different giveaways at this point in time, that will be announced over the next one or two days. So either Tuesday or Wednesday, you will get to know whether you have won said giveaway. Follow my Instagram, which is linked in the description box down below for live updates on that, and I'll keep you updated over there. So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Cold, hotter, even way out in London town Hoes holler cause they love my sound And I got love for the underground Quali, uh, Pimp C, uh, H-Town will bring it down Met a bad bitch that'll cut all night That'll suck all night, you just cut off lights